Urticaria is a common skin problem characterized by the formation of wheels or hives that often vanish within a few hours to appear in other parts of the body. These hives can be restricted to a portion of the body or spread to involve the whole body. They are usually very itchy and might cause a burning sensation as well. Many patients of urticaria continue to suffer for months and sometimes years altogether. They often see multiple doctors and get expensive tests hoping for permanent solutions. In this video, we discuss how to remove hive or urticaria permanently. There are two aspects of urticaria treatment first, removal of the trigger and second consistent treatment. When it comes to triggers, the first one is food. Packed food that contains preservatives and colors or restaurant food with artificial flavors are often the common culprits. Seafood, nuts like chestnuts, peanuts and fruits like kiwi, strawberries, passion fruit, avocado, melon, and tomatoes are other common causes. Secondly, urticaria can be triggered by any viral or bacterial infection. Sometimes worm infestation can also trigger hives. Medicines like painkillers or the penicillin group of antibiotics are common causes of hives. These hives clear up when causative medicines are removed. The fourth cause is inhalants like pollens, fragrances, or house dust mites. However, this is seen in patients prone to allergic rhinitis or asthma. Lastly, physical factors like trauma, sun, heat, pressure, or cold can cause physical urticaria. For example, some patients might get linear urticaria on the site of itching. This is termed symptomatic dermographism. The role of these factors depends on the type of urticaria you have. If your urticaria is less than 6 weeks, it is termed acute urticaria. The removal of causative factors can cure 50% of acute urticaria cases. However, if your urticaria is chronic and happening daily for more than 6 weeks, these factors might not be the cause but aggravate your disease. In such cases, the removal causative factor will reduce the intensity of urticaria but not cure it. There is another clue that can help in the role of the causative factor in urticaria. If your hives appear episodically with periods of remission, removal of the cause can cure your problem. But if you are getting hives daily, removing the triggering factor might reduce intensity but not cure your hives one for all. Therefore, write possible triggers in a diary if you get occasional hives. It would help if you asked yourself, what new food did I eat? What medicine did I take? Did I get sick recently? Which packed food did I eat? Did I eat food from outside? Why did I get this episode of hives? You should avoid repeated trigger items. Here are simple tips to remove causative factors. Eat homemade fresh food. Avoid packed food. Avoid food from restaurants. Avoid painkillers. Take paracetamol if possible. Before taking antibiotic, tell your doctor that you have urticaria. If you have asthma or allergic rhinitis, avoid fragrances. Discuss with the doctor if you have a fever, joint pains, or other systemic illness. Often patients with hives spend a lot of allergy testing. However, no evidence avoiding allergens that come positive in blood tests would cure your hives forever. Dermatologists order blood tests in chronic cases to rule out infections or other systemic associations like thyroid disorders and rheumatic diseases. Now, let us discuss the correct method of taking anti-allergic medicine. Most patients take anti-allergics after they get hives. This is wrong because treatment does not stop mast cells from releasing histamine, which causes hives. The proper method is to take anti-allergic infrequency so that you do not get hives at all, which means that you are preventing the activation of mast cells. This is the reason dermatologists recommend reducing the medicines gradually. For example, you can increase one day gap every month. However, if you get hives, shift back to the older frequency. For example, if you start getting hives at three days, you should move back to two days gap. Now the question arises which anti-allergic medicine should you take? The doctor decides the anti-allergic type and frequency based on the severity of the problem. However, if you are looking for over-the-counter options, then fexofenadine or Allegra is the preferred option because it doesn't cause drowsiness. However, if your rash is severe, you can take cetrazine at night because it can make you sleepy. Finally, let us discuss when to consult a doctor. If your hives disappear after taking OTC anti-allergic in a few days, then there is no need to rush to an expert. 
However, you should seek dermatologist consultation if you have a severe episode involving most of the body or notice swelling of eyes, tongues, hands, and genitals. Also, if your hives continue for more than two weeks, you should consult a dermatologist. Creating a video like this takes 5 to 10 hours. Your subscription, comment, and likes would encourage us in this endeavor. If you still have questions regarding hives, feel free to post in the comment box below. We will get back to you with a suitable solution.